Talk a little bit about the, the role of the gallbladder. I know people associate it with the liver, or at least in conjunction with it a lot. Well, you know, the gallbladder is probably as misunderstood as the liver is. So here we have the liver. And underneath the liver is the gallbladder. So the purpose of this visual, I have a dish detergent right here in this little glass jar. So your gallbladder is very similar to this dish detergent. And we know that dish detergents emulsify fat and debris on plates before you either put it in the dishwasher or you wash it by hand. So when they take your gallbladder out, they're taking the dish detergent out of your body. They're taking the emulsifier out of your body. Your liver makes the detergent. The detergent is bile. So your liver makes this. So what we have seen in our practice, women, after they have baby number two, have a greater challenge and a greater chance to have liver gallbladder compromised because their liver is being overworked while they're carrying the babies. So if you have had baby number two and maybe you just didn't restore liver function, that's when women might start to know some digestive distress after eating. So if you have digestive distress immediately after eating, it's usually you need digestive enzymes. If you have digestive distress two or three hours, including gas after eating, it's usually liver gallbladder, a fat metabolism challenge. People who have right shoulder pain and right knee pain, it's typically a gallbladder challenge. They usually have a metal taste in their mouth, queasiness over their eyes, and fatty foods might bother them. This is also very interesting. I have a very common herb that people enjoy, especially during the summertime in macaroni, salad, or potato salad. This is a radish. When I was doing a part of my studies, I took classes on herbology. Well, a radish is a bitter herb. And if you happen to be someone that when you eat a radish, it bothers you in a town, we call it agenda. If radishes bother you, it's not the radish. The radishes are doing their job. They're causing that liver to do work. So if radishes cause digestive distress, the radish itself is not the problem. It's telling me that you have liver gallbladder distress. Cucumbers will do the same thing. So will green peppers. Green peppers, cucumbers, onions, if that causes digestive distress, it could be a gallbladder issue. Your gallbladder uh, or your liver makes bile. If the bile becomes thick and pasty, it's not going to do its job or emulsify the fat. Here's something that's really interesting. Bile is alkaline. Bile is like baking soda. When you have stress in your body, your body is going to cannibalize and use more bile up to allow your body to become alkaline. Women who have more estrogen in their body have thick, pasty bile. It's amazing when you start putting this all together. So when somebody comes in the office and you start asking them questions like, do you taste like metal in your mouth? They look, they'll go home and say to your husband, he asked me if my mouth tastes like pennies. Well, it just tells, it's a map. It's a road map of what's going on. And understanding this whole liver gallbladder mechanism is so important. That's why you don't want to be on a low-fat diet. Your liver needs oil, just like a car. And that oil helps the body function optimally. Isn't it fantastic?